How's it going everyone? Welcome to Rad's Crystal Palace today in the Premier League. First game of course since our minus four point deduction. So a lot's being made of this game. Nine massive games left. Of course currently in the relegation zone. So yeah, no pressure. We need to get a win here. We really do. It'd be a perfect way to respond to that point deduction and all the remaining games. So yeah, we've got to have that siege mentality I think. If you do enjoy this vlog, Please hit the like button, subscribe to Rads, we're going for 6,000 subscribers. And yeah, up the Rads. So, here with Bray. It's well, right. It is Bray, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you think today, though, against Palace? Um, I think that we're, we're due a big performance, mm. to be honest. Um, I've, I myself, I know I've done a lot of moaning about referees costing us this and costing us that. We need to make the city ground into a fortress, get that bit of Luton siege mentality. I'm just going to deal with the sun now. Um, <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to get the atmosphere crackling. I think it'll be slightly easier because Palace have good away support. Uh, potentially get something with Forza Garibaldi going on. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, I, I can see us. I can see us getting a win here today. I don't think that they're exactly invincible. We beat them in this fixture last season. Yeah. Um, We've just got to hope. We've got to hope and we've got to get behind the team for these nine cup finals that we've got to come yeah. yet. Um, if I have to give a prediction, I'd say 2-1 Forest. I can feel an Ilanga or Murillo goal coming. See Murillo cooking their defence. He deserves a goal, Murillo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when he, love to see when he ran through their whole team at Yeah, Selvers. ended Will Hughes' career. I know, right, yeah. yeah. Anyway, up the Reds. Up the Reds. So we're here with Jess and Sam. What's your predictions, guys, for today? Um, I'm going for a 2 0 win to Forest, hopefully. Yeah. I'm going to say 2 1. I reckon. 2 1. Yeah, 2 1. You think we're going to stay up? Fingers crossed. I hope yeah. so. I really hope so. <laughs> really hope so. <laughs> up the Reds. Up the Reds. Cut you Reds. Here with Matthew. What do you think today? 2 1. Yeah. Thinking Dominguez and Chris Wood if he starts. Okay. But I don't know if Origi will start. Keep yeah. Alangra on the left. I'd, I'd rather have a Alangra in Hudson in there. Yeah. To be honest. I don't know who's going to start to pull. Yeah. Other than that, I think Dominguez, Wood. Yeah. Wood and Nova Palace. Because you don't know who's actually going to start. <laughs> Fair enough. Up the Reds. Up the Reds. To Dave. Mm. Pretty big game today. Crystal Massive. Palace. Massive. Wait. What do you think? I'm positive. Yeah? I think we'll win. Mm. I've been thinking we'll win all week, David. <laughs> might not be pretty. Might be a bit of a struggle. Yeah. I'll go for a Forest 1-0 win. we will take it. But that is in the hope that there's some kind of psychological reaction to yeah. points deductions and yeah. perceived injustices and things like that. So I'd like very much to see Nottingham Forest in a sort of a grudgeful, chip on the shoulder kind of mood. Yeah. I expected it at Brighton after the pain of the Liverpool game. It never appeared. It was very poor at Brighton. Yeah. It can't be as passive here today. But I just think the noise in this ground today, to Palace be. have got a really poor record yeah. here. Fancy us to win one now. Take it. Absolutely, mate. Yeah. All the Reds. You Reds. Dom. Hello. What do you think today? Crystal Palace at home. New manager. Yeah, for, yeah. Lazy, yeah. New, they've gone for a new formation as well with three at the back. Uh, they've got Ezzy in the team. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. but they, I think they've got a rather slow back line though. But we've got Langer on the bench. I don't know what the plan is. So. Yeah, interesting team selection. Yeah, we've got like, Langer on the bench. So I'm not really sure why that is. Because I'm pretty sure Palace have one of the slowest back lines in the league. I just wanted to essentially see character from on the pitch and from the coach, especially the coach. Yeah. I think he's been lacking the, the personality that we had before with Cooper. I'm sort of compared to right now. Yeah, but I agree. With I that. think he needs to start showing some of that if he wants the fan support. Yeah. So I'm going to go for 1 1. Fair enough. Up the Reds. Up the Reds. Alright, Toby. What do you think today, mate? Well, I'm thinking, I'm hoping Nuno has got something up his sleeve when considering we've got on the bench. I'm hoping instead of just his normal plan A and then I don't know what he's doing with plan B or C or whatever. Yeah. So I'm hoping that's something up his sleeve. But other than that, 
So 2-1, hopefully we need a win big time. Mm. We've got something to aim for this time. So I'm hoping it's going to be a 2-1 win. I'm going to go all out. So so someone to win, someone to win. So we yeah. have 2-1. We've got the Reds. The Reds. Zero, 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 right, to Dad. Yes. What do you think? Big game today. Huge game, massive game. But right from the start, I'm going to say Forest 1-0. We are desperate for these points. Uh, yeah. 1-0 Forest, it's a difficult game, but can I just pay tribute to Larry Lloyd, who sadly passed away the other day. Him and Kenny Burns in the late 70s, early 80s were the pivotal part of uh, why we won the league, two European Cups, two League Cups. A true Forest legend. But yeah, 1-0 Forest. Who Reds, come on. New Reds. Second half, 
kind of. I mean, we're still very wasteful, it's too passive. But you know, it's, it shouldn't really be seen as a good thing that we actually decided to try and string passes together properly. But first half was shocking, second half, we had a lot more with the ball. It was using it a lot better, more like. And some probably more clear cut chances. A good goal from Wood. Gibbs White had a good chance. Lena had a good chance. Good to actually see him come on. So some good opportunities in the second half, but he just kind of petered out again. Palace had some chances again. And you know, honestly, I said at half time, a better team would have punished us today. And you know, Fulham may have lost to Sheffield United, which no one should have, would have seen coming, but Fulham, ultimately, I think, were a much better side than Palace. You know what happened in the first game, they had some great results, so yeah, or are we more up for it? I don't know, but we need to be. At the relegation zone on goal difference though, which is one thing, what matters ultimately, but I don't know, it just feels like a missed opportunity again. And yeah, we haven't won in a long while now. Anyway, if you haven't joined this world, please hit the like button. Subscribe to Rad, so we get 6,000 subscribers, please help us out. And yeah. Look at the reds.